Hello, everyone. Say hello, Davey. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I hope you're all well today. Ah, welcome back. You are. This is episode four of the Ricky Gervais show, which I'm very, very excited for because we're actually we're getting a lot of good good comments and one thumb down. We can, we can take you know constructive criticism really well. And as for a thumbs down, hey, whoever you are, you're entitled to your opinion, so I welcome you anyway. Yeah, I welcome him too, whoever that is. But why would you thumb down Ricky Gervais' show? <laughs> it's such a good show. Well, I get he's, he's not to everyone's taste, so you know it's okay. You're entitled to your opinion. But I, as I said, welcome everybody. Thanks for you know putting up with us for another video. I'm glad to have you aboard. Yes, and you are getting a, a lot of love from the audience, Davy. Um, thank you. And, uh, thank you, yeah, everyone. And if you haven't noticed yet, he has got his own podcast, which is. I'd give that 10 minutes. Am I being subtle with my cheesy plugs and my names everywhere and everything? That's all right. That's yeah, all right. he's got stickers. He gave me one the other day, a sticker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, I did. And what have you done now? You've got a bigger sticker now. Yeah, well, you know, the stickers were popular, so I made more of them, but slightly bigger. <laughs> and I'm also... a very minimal, minimal merchandising kind of guy. That's all I've got right now is some stickers. That's not, not, no, no, and no a t-shirts cup. and a cup. I have one cup. There you are. I had my brew in it a bit earlier on. There we go. So I have a cup. I have stickers. That's all I'm doing for merchandise so far. Until I make it big and become this global sensation, merchandising yeah. will be kept to a minimum. But well, please, give me an order. Why not? Take take a leaf out of Ricky Gervais's book. Ricky Gervais, Carl Pilkinson and that. They started podcasting. Um, and they did This Is It. It's like XFM. Podcasting, mm -hmm. releasing stuff. And look how big they are now. Yeah. You know, obviously they did The Office too and that. That, that contributed. Yeah. I mean, I'm not here for notoriety or fame, but you know, if I, if I get famous, it's what happens. Yeah, and you have a an island full of women. No, thank you. But you know, well done. You can have. That. <laughs> I was trying to lull you into a false sense of security. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> but yes, today we are reacting to another episode. I look forward to this now. Ricky Gervais show, dolphins. Uh, dolphins. What? I don't know what dolphins is supposed to mean. Mm -hmm. But uh, are you ready for a laugh, sir? Yes, I'm always here for a good laugh. So get mm. your chuckle button switched on and get ready. <laughs> chuckle button. <laughs> All right, well, let's go for it. Let's see you on the other side. Um, I got a text from Carl yesterday, Steve. A text from Carl, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just read it to you. Okay. See you to Moz for a face rub at six thirty. Then no bum tubes though. <laughs> so I was intrigued, and I called Carl. So I think you've just sent me a text by mistake. What's the explanation of that? Hey, mate, right, Ruffle, he just said, he said, you know, you, you, there's things that go on in life that you need to experience. Yeah. He said, just just pop along. and I, I, I didn't say yes straight away. What's a face rub? You mean a facial? <laughs> where you lay rub. down... You just clean your face with a flannel yeah. and that. So it's... you're going to go lie down with another man and have your face... Well, no, it. this is what I was saying to him. There's, well, there's a couple of questions. I didn't just say yes straight away. Why did you always leap to that? Well, I'm not that happy with this. No, I said, look, there's nothing weird going on here, is there? I said, it's not a house, is it? It's a proper <laughs> clinic and that. I said, yeah, it's proper. You wear a, a dressing gown and that. I said, well, I'm not that So he's already got you in the dressing gown? Yeah, well, I haven't agreed to that. Today I've worn a little round polar neck sort of jumper so I don't have to take it off. Ooh. It's not going to get in the way of my face. I made sure I didn't wear a shirt with a collar. I'm not taking this off. They can put the dressing gown on top of this. Right. Okay. I don't know if it was a woman who rubs my head. Don't know if it's a bloke or, or whatever. Well, the thing is, you get extra, don't you, for your face rub? Because your face goes all the way back over the oh. top of your head down to the back of your <laughs> neck. But, but was, so you've got a big face, haven't you? All I was saying to him is, Oi, that's, I'll that's have the face boldest. Rub, but I don't know if, if once you're in there, right. they try and sell you the old, uh, the, old the, the, the bum tube thing. What, what's what the bum is tube? this? Do you, is that a euphemism? What are you talking about? The thing where they pop a tube in and put coffee in your belly and it cleans you out and that. That's An enema. Why well, well, would you have that? <laughs> I don't. I'm not. I don't want it. I don't. I don't think. Why you not? Need to, just because I think I've said to you before about, you know, you, you don't need to be that clean inside. You know what I mean? I don't mind washing my face. <laughs> what what occasion do you need where you're that cleaned out? <laughs> do you know what I mean? And it, it, it's always a clear tube and that, and you see all the stuff whizzing past. I don't understand why it's clear. I don't know why you've got to see what's coming out of you. Like it's, you know, like the generation game, making notes of what's whizzing past. Forget it. <laughs> I don't even know. 
Yeah, I've heard of that. I was watching uh, some different TV. Saw an amazing documentary. It was called Tribes. This guy, and he goes and lives with different tribes around the world, these small little indigenous people. Mm. And uh, there was one. He went to he went to Papua New Guinea in Indonesia, right, Carl? He lived with the Kombai tribe. All right. Now, this Papua New Guinea is an extraordinary place because it is one of the only places left on Earth that hasn't been fully explored. There are parts of it that it's just blank on the map because they've, they've never explored there. They don't know what's there. They don't know what's going on. So firstly, that must already freak you out. Imagine that. 21st century, they have no idea what's going on down there. But do, do they need to know if there's nothing going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they don't know what's going on. There could be stuff going on. No, but there's, there's no chance that they'll go, we haven't been over there, and someone goes and there's like an Arndale thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going to be there, is it? So there's no... Well, I'll point. tell you what is there, okay? There's these various small tribes. Some of these tribes are still cannibals eating people from other tribes. Do they know they could move on? Have they got a telly? <laughs> or have they, have they seen a telly and gone, I'm not up for that? Or are they just, are they saying... It's not the Amish. They haven't chosen But what this. is the difference between the Amish and these people? Well, the Amish are a group of people that choose to live in that way. These people are just essentially untouched by civilization. I mean, they do have interaction with civilization and people do come there, but they, they still live in this very, very almost prehistoric way. They did buy a telly, but there was nothing on because there isn't any uh, broadcasters. <laughs> they can plug it in. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. an absolute nightmare. Yeah. But there was one guy, okay, now he uh, said that his brother was dying. This was a couple of years ago, right? His brother was dying. He said to his dying brother, what happened? Why are you dying? This guy said it was a bloke in another village. Okay, he goes over to the other village, he kills this other bloke, right? He eats him, or eats bits of him. Uh, the other village gets a bit annoyed. They go, what's going on? Why did you kill this bloke? They went, well, sorry about that, right? They said, well, you need to make it up to us. He gave him a pig. They said, the pig's not enough. They gave him five pigs. So five pigs apparently made up for the fact that they'd killed one of them. They said, well, hang on, what are you going to do with but this bloke's wife? Why were they bartering? Why didn't they just get the police in and say, what's going on? <laughs> What yeah, police? What, yeah, yeah. What? Why didn't they call in Kojak? Because he'd have sorted out, wouldn't he? What I mean is, right, <laughs> you're miles away from anything, but it doesn't sound like the great place to live, right? Could they not move? Could one of them go? Do you know what? I'm sick of this. I, I'm, I'm moving or whatever, and go to a proper city. How far away is this? Um, these Papa people um, to, 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 to the next. To the next. They're like, like the Smurfs. They're very like the Smurfs. But how, how many miles away from a, like, a place with a normal life going on? But think about this, Carl. <laughs> Firstly, they don't speak the language. Papa people. So they don't have any practical <laughs> skills. They've got no experience of civilization. So even if they chose to go and live in one of these cities, what can they do? How can they function? I think there's some bacteria that has better lives than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be offensive. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about this is the one of the weirdest things. This is one of the weirdest things, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. An entire people, an yeah. entire race just of people. Dismiss. No, just no, no. dismiss. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not having a go, but I'm just saying I, I wouldn't fancy it, is what I mean. But they don't mean? know of nice. another world. How can they imagine that they could... Oh, I'll tell you what, this is boring. I'm tired of, of hunting for food and, and eating fish from the river. I'll tell you what, I'd like a world where there's iPods and room service. I'm going to go and move to New York. They're not thinking like that, are they, Carl? Because they don't know. <laughs> when people go to these places on holiday now, they like a little bit of danger. They like to see how the others live. Mm. So all I'm saying is we know they exist. Yeah. The Papa people, maybe people aren't going there. I, you know, it doesn't sound like the best place. You know, I can't imagine it having a tourist <laughs> board or anything, right? But would they accept me if I popped over there and, you know, with Suzanne in Papa? Well... <laughs> okay, this is this is one of the things that they they do, God, okay, which is a tradition you may have to do. These uh, combi, right? They invert their penises, so they push their penises back up inside their bodies, like a sock. Oh, that's got oh, painful. Well, keep it out of the way. Of what? Oh, well, if you're running through the undergrowth chasing a, a, a hog, <laughs> you don't want it flapping away, you know. But but it's also become a kind of ceremonial thing. No. So if you were over there, you may well have to try it yourself. You, you would have to try it yourself. If you went there, you'd have to try it Definitely. yourself. But no. even caveman had little pants on. Whoa! Slow down. Rewind. <laughs> what do you Again, mean? you've been watching the Flintstones. No, no, no. It's just, you know. Is it a leopard skin pair of pants that's actually quite right. a... Go on. <laughs> but, but it's a well-known fact that they wore, like... Bear pants or whatever. <laughs> bear pants? <laughs> no, I agree, bear pants. Just, no, 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 listen, you are, you are a qualified 
uh, anthropologist. So what? Um, I, mean, I mean, that you know, you, when whenever you see him on footage or in a museum, footage. It's black and white as well, isn't it? Caveman footage. <laughs> you always see him wearing a little bit of fur, fur little pants and that. So what I'm saying is, even though what what year is it to these um, people in the woods? What, I mean, what? I don't know what this conversation is anymore. <laughs> I, he's he's just crunching at straws. His mind, his, uh, it, it, it's like um, a fly, his mind, isn't it? It's just buzzing round. It's trying to find a window. It, it, it is just it's like... hitting against pieces of information, but they're yeah, just floating yeah. off. Yeah. They used to perplex. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I can't get pop-up. I was uh, shopping with Carl before Christmas, <laughs> and we went round sort of Piccadilly and St. James's and those really beautiful shops around there and i went in one shop you had to um ring a bell to enter yeah they came down and it's like a, a iconoclastic sort of shop and they they found things from churches and uh, nearly all russian 16th century pieces onwards this beautiful uh, uh carvings and, and paintings and statues and i went oh it's beautiful and as i was looking around i heard carl sidle up to the bloke and go what's the newest thing you've got here <laughs> <laughs> yes sure that's his first thought I mean, that is the wrong That's question fun. to ask of a funny. man who's clearly in antiques, yeah. um, proud of the fact he's got 16th century uh, kind of classic Russian stuff, to ask, what's the newest thing you've got here? Is that, I mean, what sort of question is that? Oh, I don't know, probably the doorbell. I don't know, what, what does he want to say? Oh, my shirt. What, what, <laughs> what were you, you thinking? hoping for? <laughs> uh, I think it's an all right question, because he, he was saying there's loads of old stuff in there, and he kept going, oh, about the old stuff. <laughs> what's, saying, what's, what's, what's the newest thing you've got? <laughs> and what was do you know what he said? It, the other question he asked him, he said, "How often do you get new stuff in?" And I said to him, <laughs> "Why did you ask that?" He said, "Well, I was thinking, if you got antiques and you sell it all, what's left? Like someone's going to sell all the antiques in the world because they're not making." He said, "Because they're not making any new stuff." What does that, <laughs> that mean? Doesn't make they're not any making sense. any new stuff. <laughs> but I know for a fact, no one's ever going to go in there and buy the lot anyway. I mean. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I'm not at any point in my life, and I don't think it'll ever happen, will I go, I need some old Russian wood. Because It was that's... brilliant. No, it was, it, Steve, it, no. it was beautiful. It's amazing stuff. There's stuff... It's, there's mm. um, um, uh, <laughs> these things uh, from the 16th century of sort yeah. of like saints and monks, and they're carved. And there's they're... loads of it. It's just all piled up. No one's interested. Oh. If I was him, I'd go, do you know what? <laughs> I'm into this, but no one else is. Close shot. <laughs> seriously, it's just piled up, up. Piles up on piles of like old bits of wood with pictures on it and that. But think of, fella, man, just think of a man 400 years ago that carved this, that carved this, uh, you know. No, but nobody wants it, do they? I've never heard anyone say... You know, oh look, it's my birthday coming up. I'll tell you what, I'd love what? a bit of old Russian wood. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't happen. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I've never heard anyone saying it like. I've never overheard someone saying, "You don't know where the Russian shop is, do you?" <laughs> <laughs> this is in London, where the rates are high. There was this thing, right, Steve? Uh, them old drawings on like it was like a panel from a church that someone had uh, that okay, painted, right, yeah. and I think it was like you know from sort of like 1590 or something, yeah. and it was this uh, a, a picture of this. Uh, this saint, wasn't it? So 1590. It could be from any time, really. So there's this one there, right, leaning up against the wall. And uh, <laughs> most of them in there was that Stalin bloke, right? <laughs> but there was this little... Right, can I start with there? Bloke. Lenin. Right. <laughs> okay. right. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so he was on all these bits of wood and stuff. But I saw this other little face, right, little fellow with a beard, right? So uh, I said, who's this bloke here? He said, oh, uh, the story there, right? He said, uh, it's this little fella, and he got mugged back in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> this is right, isn't it? This is what he's yeah. saying. So he got it's just that, that term. That I love that that term in the, in a 16th century Russian wood. Oh no, I'm being mugged. So so he got, <laughs> he got happy slapped. And uh, and and he said, I've had enough of this. Right? Yeah. And he went to live in the woods. Right. Made like a little shed. Stayed shed. there. People went to visit him. And and like, if you got a problem, you knock on his door and you go, oh, I'm sick of it. And he'll sort of say, Yeah, I know what you mean. I've, I've moved out of the city and what have you. And he'd make him feel better. And then they go again. Now, <laughs> why has that man got a plaque? <laughs> Not a plaque. If he was around now, there's no way he'd have a bit of wood with his face on it, is what I'm saying. If someone had got fed up with living in London or New York or whatever, and they go, I'm going to go and live in the woods, people wouldn't visit him. He wouldn't get a piece of wood with his face on, is what I'm saying. <laughs> but this man is selling it for about, I think it was about 750 quid for, for this bloke's head. But the chances are that this is... 
either a well-known Russian folktale or it may even be a piece of classic Russian He's literature. He's a saint. He was a saint. Or, oh, okay. He was well, canonised. Yeah. Like, yeah. everybody, everybody was a saint years ago. That seems to be like, <laughs> thrown about, doesn't it? He was a saint now. Name him one now. Yeah, this fellow lived in the woods in a hut. Oh, yeah, that's Saint John or whatever. <sighs> he's not a saint. He's done nothing. If yeah, anything, no, he sort of said, I can't be bothered with living in a city with everyone else. Everyone else has got to put I, with it. I was, I I was mugged. I'm going to live in the woods. Well, if you can't put up with it, I'm you're not good enough, are you? You've got no stamina. <laughs> <laughs> and yet he gets a plaque, is what I'm saying. It's annoying. Who would, you like to see, who would you like to see get a plaque in the modern world? Who deserves a plaque, in your opinion? Probably like nurses and that who who do a lot of bad things. Which I, nurse? I couldn't do that. Carrying lungs about and all that. <laughs> 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 no, but I, I couldn't do. Do you know what I mean? That's that's one job that oh. I, my man wanted me to be a doctor. <laughs> oh, wow! What was she wow. thinking? Oh, what's her expectations <laughs> like now? Didn't fall far from the tree. Oh, when did she start giving up that dream? At what age did she start going? Carl, you don't need to study your books anymore. Go, go and play with the worms in the garden. When did she sort of like let you off that dream? Is it the day that she caught you with a spoon up your nose? <laughs> <laughs> Do not try and bend the spoon. But anyway, talking of emails and that, right? Uh, Nick is an email from Australia, right? Melbourne. He's, uh, he's, he's been going on about dolphins and that. Problems with dolphins. What problems? Um, mm. He's just saying when when... That that wind happened. Um, <laughs> that wind. It was like a bad wind thing going on. Hold on, wait a minute. What what bad wind? Um, in in America, they had that Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, <laughs> right. and there was like a little bay with dolphins in it. And, like, slightly and bad, yeah. On them and stuff. Which, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just they use dolphins, don't they? They say they're intelligent animal and stuff. Yeah. Um, and they've got them all like you know they've all had the training. They're all like ready for for battle and stuff. Right. Got like rifles on them. What do you mean rifles? They've got, How can they hold weapons. the rifle? They've got, How can they hold the rifle? No, it's sort of on a strap and that. I, what I do you mean it's on a strap? I don't know what they kit them out with, but they're just ready for war. <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, no, that isn't the point. Don't worry about it. Oh, we leave but that one, do we? Is, That's not the point. So let's leave it. So they're swimming about. Yeah, like, with, with rifles and berets. Whatever they've got on. Yeah. Like, ready for, for battle and stuff. Yeah, ready for uh, battle, yeah. The wind comes in. The wind comes in. Makes Makes a wave and that. They get out of the little bay. Yeah. Still all kitted out. With all the, you know, weapons. You're talking bollocks. <laughs> Steve, do you want to look at the Well, there, there's no way. There's loads of dolphins now swimming round, kitted out Housing with problems. guns and that, with a strap. How, how can a dolphin hold a... Whoa. Again, <laughs> you've been watching Planet of the Apes. Oh, he's trying to talk to us. What's he saying? He's saying, go ahead, punk, make my day. Oh, You're talking <laughs> shit. It's just news to say if, if there's dolphins, you know, if you see a dolphin in that, don't go, oh, it's friendly. Because there's some with weapons now, so <laughs> oh my God. I'm just I'm just it's like monkey knees. Email. That's that, that'll cover it in that. So bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, can we have some monkey news oh. before I die? All right. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news, yeah. This monkey that was knocking about called Ollie. It was in this zoo, um, and and it was the only monkey in there, right? And uh, <laughs> It was getting a bit oh. lonely because, like, it was sharing its sort of time with, say, an elephant and a giraffe. No, it doesn't happen. <laughs> and they, they didn't really. No, 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 wait, 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 it was the only one there. So what happened is the zookeeper right. felt a bit sorry for him. He he started to sort of get pally with him. So at lunchtime, <laughs> when the zookeeper was sat on the wall having his, like, hand butties or whatever, mm. he'd sort of go, you all right? And, and it used to come over closer and closer. Right? Yeah. Anyway, within a month, he was sat on the wall having his lunch with him. Right? But well, anyway, so he sat, he sat there, and as time goes on, you yeah. know, he's, he's sort of... Sat with him most of the day. Monkeys yeah. walking around with him, helping feed the other animals and that. No. <laughs> but then what happened is the, the the zookeeper at the end of the night when he's like locking up and stuff, yeah. it'd feel bad. It's like my son Jake. That. He'd believe in the zoo, <laughs> and like Ollie sat there and he's like, "I'll see you tomorrow." And the monkey's like, yeah, all right, "See you later." <laughs> looking all fed up because he's got home to go and he's still <laughs> stuck in his where he's basically working every day. Right, so he's <laughs> He's never going home, right? Now he's sleeping at work, the so, monkey. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, the, yeah. the zookeeper goes home, says to his wife, look, Ollie's, uh, 
having a bit of a time at the moment. So she said, oh, yeah, what's going on? I said, well, uh, <laughs> she's looking a bit fed up. You know, he's, he's sick of it. So <laughs> she said, bring him home. It didn't happen. <laughs> so it was in your head. <laughs> so, so she said, yeah, bring it home tonight. So anyway, he's, he's a looking more. forward to going into work and that. He sees Ollie. He doesn't tell him straight away. <laughs> Yeah, it gets to the end of the day. Yeah. Anyway, he's like, get your coat. It's like, what? Coat. 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 What do you mean? <laughs> whatever the equivalent is, right? Whatever you say to a monkey, it was kind of like, you know, you're coming with me, sort of thing. Yeah. Right. So he's going, oh, brilliant. Anyway. No, he's not. So what do you mean he's going brilliant? <laughs> he takes so, it so, off, so he gets right? his hat and coat. <laughs> I love it when he gets angry. Yeah. Right? He, yeah, goes, he goes back to the zookeeper's house. Everything's going well for about a week and a half. Right. right? Treating him really well. He's sat there. You know, he's having a brandy at night. We go oh, come on. So he said to his wife, look, you're at home all day, right? Oh, I'm going to work. I'll leave it with you, right? Yeah. So Ollie stays at home. Yeah. Anyway, uh, as time oh. goes on, a yep. little bit of trouble. <laughs> Whilst the fella's busy at work, Ollie starts getting a little bit cheeky. Tries it on with a missus. Whoa! Right. Well, how the, the does Carl. a monkey try it on with the missus? Are you talking well, this, this shit? This is classic monkey news. <laughs> and how does it try it on with the missus? So he's a bit drunk. He he stinks of smoke. He tries it on with the missus. How does he try it on with her? I, I don't know all the details. You don't know any of the details. You don't know any of the details. You don't know the details on that bit. You don't know any of the details. So what happened? So while the zookeeper's away, the monkey did play. Did the zookeeper's wife reciprocate these affections? She probably went along with that first. You know, she's cooking at home, getting the tea ready. That's walking past, pinching her ass or whatever. <laughs> and it's, you know what I mean? it, it starts off just like it does, you know, with humans. Starts off as a bit of fun. Before you know it, you know, split up in the end. Anyway, the zookeeper and the what's it? I think the monkey stayed stayed with the with the woman. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> what? It's all there. It's Honestly, all there, mate. You, it, the fa your imagination. Well, you should write stories. You get should people, write, you get know. Get people to look it up. It's look, Just put in monkey, chimp, ollie, and it's it's all there. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that went fast. Oh, my God. That went fast. Oh, when, flies, it got, when, you have when, it, when it got to monkey news, I thought, the cat be, there must be something after this. That's weird. No. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't expecting that with the dolphins. No, no. It, it just makes you think about going in the sea. Just double check there isn't like an armed dolphin coming towards you. Well, I went to Clearwater Bay in Florida, and we went on that boat that sort of goes jump and yeah, jump, and literally all the uh, uh, dolphins come flying out of the, of the boat. And literally, I'm I'm wondering now, did I see a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Should I have been afraid, afraid of this? You know what I mean. Be very Mass afraid. Shoot out, you know, and uh, and Papa people. <laughs> oh my God, Papa people! Oh no, it's got... like a dodgy band. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Please welcome to the stage, Papa people. <laughs> Moving on, no, that's that, that's M people, isn't it? That's M people, yeah. But you were close. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah so, um, <laughs> Papa people. Oh, Amazing. I was gonna tickle. I was gonna tickle me all night. I've got a few more of these to go down. Um, <laughs> so, what did you think in general? Was you still still enjoying it? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm discovering it fresh each week because I've I'd never watched these prior to us starting to do these reactions. I think I've watched um, about two in every series. It was one. It was one of those series that um, I got. Oh, what's this on YouTube? You know, when you're flicking at night, and you you do watch it, and it, that's where the idea came to watch them because it's a whole series of them. Um, yeah. But yes, I'm. I'm, I'm a, <laughs> the thing is, right? This monkey news stuff is he purposefully going out and looking for outlay, outrageous stuff, or it, does he really believe that a monkey could get into bed with the missus? Because he said he said this last time, didn't he? I, th I think he's obviously reading stuff online. People are obviously making stories up online, and he's reading them and bringing them into the uh, to the show. Um, yeah. But he, I don't know. I don't. I don't get the impression that he believes what he's saying. But it, it does come across like he's when he portrays it, where he's reading yeah. on these emails that they're legit. I don't know. Because that, <laughs> that, that that is the thing, isn't it? That you're when you when you're looking at stuff and you're going mm, rationally, how can a monkey fly a rocket? You know, press <laughs> go, and you know, monkey anatomy versus female anatomy. I. I I can't see him actually believing it, but then it it doesn't come across as insincere either, does he? No, not at all, not at all. So I, a very I, I very love, easy going guy. Yeah, I love him to bits. I love. Him to, I wish I could, I wish I could, um, 
bring him onto the show. Bring him onto this. Imagine him just saying, "All right, we're going to react to this now," and this movie title or something. Imagine that. That'd be amazing. That'd be, that would. That would be really good. I wonder if he's still in the UK. He must be still in the UK because he set. He seems set in his ways. You know, based I, I, on the I would think abroad so. now. So I, th- I think he is still residing in the UK. Yeah, I have to look it up. I'm going to look up some monkey news. <laughs> on on the next thing, I'm going to make a monkey news. You know, breaking news on the next reaction. Are you up for that? Oh yeah, I'm happy to hear monkey news any time of the day. Mm, yeah, monkey news. Anyway, so who are you and what's your podcast? Have we already done that? We have, but it's always nice to rediscover it. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave A, the host of Like <laughs> You've Got Ten Minutes podcast, a podcast about movies, TV shows, collectability, retro stuff, nerdy stuff, all kinds of stuff. It's um, two seasons in. Season three is coming before the end of the year. And it's still becoming very popular. And I'm yes. happy to say I've got lots more guests penciled in and more listeners, hopefully, including you right there who's watching this video right now. You, you right there. You're going to tune in, aren't you? Of course you are. Who? You're the, talking the, to the, the person, audience? I'm talking to the audience. That person right there. That group of people oh, right there. Oh, you. I didn't see you there. I thought yeah, other yeah, people yeah, were. Yeah. Other, I thought everyone had left. Yeah, find me on the socials. Just say, <laughs> I get that 10 minutes. You'll find me and you'll follow me. You will yes, follow me. And, and, and you will like it. <laughs> well, what about yourself Stephen how can people get in touch with you well my name's Stephen Holleran uh, I'm from the YouTube channel Stephen Holleran and where you can find me is by typing Stephen Holleran simple but effective mm-hmm. that's, that's how I designed it that's it's by design it's elegance personified ah. oh I like that it's like it's a take, it's taken it's taken us up a level there isn't it it's taken up a notch yeah anyway personified mm. Yeah, Stephen Holleran, elegance, personified. I like it, I like it. It's like <laughs> William Shatner, that. Personified. It is. <laughs> Funny enough, I've just been watching Starship Generations downstairs. Nice, good shot. You know, uh, the the uh, ship just crashed. Oh. I think it happens. Oh. I love it data is. swear, no. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and Captain McCard being useless at punching. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Anyway, we've gone off track. I just, <laughs> or I just, track. I, <laughs> da, 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 da. Anyway, I shall, I shall speak to you soon, sir. Thank you for joining me tonight, and thank you for joining us at home. Take care. Yeah. Now. Have a good one, guys. Bye.